Hello, my name is Ran and welcome to my channel. Every day I look at the new games that come out on Steam and then I look slightly into the future to see what's coming. A lot of them look very similar and seem to play very similarly, but some stand out for one reason or another. And this is what I've got to show you, some games you might be missing. If you're hungry for more Metroidvanias, if you miss the actual feel of the original Castlevania, The Last Faith might be the game for you. It is a Metroidvania by definition, and its aesthetic harkens back to the progenitor of the genre. It's got gothic architecture, dark motifs, the old fight between good and evil. It has action and puzzles, horrific monsters and beautiful pixel art. I'm not a big fan of this theme, but watching this still makes me want to play it. Coming later this year, no price yet. Moncage is an interesting puzzle game with some unique mechanics. I mean, we've seen shifting perspective puzzles and we've seen vision deforming puzzles before. I definitely could name a few just off the top of my head, such as Antichamber, Manifold Garden, Perspective, Superliminal and others. But somewhat like The Room, this game's simplicity in execution, its sole focus on one thing, and its beautiful distinct art style makes it stand out and, I would say, take notice. I wish I could tell you the release date, but I don't know what this means yet. Also, no price yet. The Wandering Village is a city builder from the creators of Niche and Nimbatus, the space drone constructor. Except this one is on the back of a huge wandering creature in a world going through some kind of apocalypse. What does one have to do with any of the others? I have no idea. But it already looks and sounds pretty cool. I haven't played their previous two games, but they both look very interesting and quite unique, and you can't argue with their great user scores, so you can count on this to at least be interesting and worth a try. No release date and no price yet. Breakwaters starts off looking like a bog-standard island survival game, but it soon stands out for its cool water manipulation mechanic and the menacing giant titans you'll have to defeat. The graphics sell it as a stylish, lightweight survival game, but the water simulation makes it more interesting and the hulking bosses push it over the top into boss rush territory. Overall, between the survival, base building and tactical elements, this game seems like it can definitely be an attraction in its genre. To release sometime in Q2 2021, no price yet. And as always, if you like what I do, I would very much appreciate a follow on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash saberrunner, or on my YouTube page, youtube.com slash saberrunner, or on my Facebook page, facebook.com slash saberrunnergaming. Thank you for watching, see you next time, stay good, have fun.